Suggestions for people coming on, what would you say? Um, get your shit together. You might think you're you might think you're good. You're not good. You're you're terrible. <laughs> now, how good <laughs> you think you are? You cannot prepare for the sauna. You need to put some work in. You need to take your laptop down to your local sauna. And you need to cook up with your headphones on <laughs> in the sauna. That, that, is, that is the only thing that's going to get you through it. I am going to the sauna after this with my laptop. No more yummy mummies. I'm just, I'm heading the game. I'm heading the laptop. And I'm just going for it. I'm getting a stop clock. I am getting a stop clock. And for the next few weeks I'm, I'm training I'm in the gym I'm gonna, I'm gonna get every fire that I've got in the house and I'm gonna pump it in this room and I'm just gonna get it crank it up stick a load of hoodies on get a hat scarf and gloves and I'm just gonna be roasting Welcome to episode 213 of The Sauna. We're the live music game show where the challenge is short but the music is fat. Tonight I'm joined with Mr. James Dre and the man himself, Projector. And the Hello. Welcome. But if it's your first night joining us, so so how's this uh, works? That was it, done. On the wheel, it says five game modes. All right, five five game modes. We pick one. It's pretty simple. Um, James, the man in the circle, he'll pop up somewhere. He'll roll the timer. There he is. He's going to roll the timer. And we'll get that selected time for the music producers. Yo, yo, yo. And the game mode for us. So that's pretty much it. We'll go get, make music, come back to this beautiful place and listen to it. And then you vote on your favorite track. For that round, but That's enough cool. about about the show. Projector, how are Hello. you? Give, give yourself an Thanks introduction to me. these people. No, what you're welcome. Um, I'm Projector. I make Psytrance music, uh, which maybe not a lot of people know, but it's a type of psychedelic dance music that is uh, very strong on the, of course, the dancing part, and it's kind of like the the, the rave music uh, that you hear a lot. Um, other than that, I make tutorial videos, I run a YouTube channel, I also run a label, Eclipse Sound Syndicate, um, where I post all of my music together with some other artists. Uh, so I'm a little bit of everywhere, I guess. I do yeah. a, a whole bunch of different things. 
Nice. Wow, nice. And so how long how long have you been making music for? Uh, I've been making music for just over 12 years now. Um, I guess I started back when I lived in the Netherlands, uh, yep. which is where I'm from originally. Uh, I moved to Italy around 11 years ago. Uh, yep. So I started slightly before I moved to Italy. Wicked. Ooh. Well, welcome to the sauna, man. Let's get straight into it. No messing around. Thank you. What game do we have mode in store for projector tonight? Let's go. Let's go, round one. And don't forget, these challenges are open, so everyone at home sitting there wanting to make a beat, you can jump in, join in the challenge. You just have to join the Discord. Oh, my Ooh. God. What's that? that looks like Is that we, a reroll? We can do both. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're rolling again. We're all... No way, uh, yeah. That's the second time that's happened, dude. How does it land there? Clip the Ooh. clip. Let's go. Producers will flip a video from the sample vault into a song. It's an open challenge. Anyone can participate. How much time will the producers get? Shoo. 26. Come on. 30, baby. Give me 30. 20. Ah. Oh, 20. 24. 24. On the clock. This should be good. Right, what's the video? All right. Let's go to this video. Here it is. See. Everyone logged in. Logged in. Yeah. Let's hear it. Locked in. Yeah. Yeah. It's based. Just exactly that. Let like you start with. It's perfect. <laughs> this is where bubbles is. stuff in there for you. <laughs> That's it. Damn. Ooh, the thing called? Very cool. It's the old plank of wood. Yeah, what is that? What is, is that? that? Alright. If you want to make a beat, join the Discord. Get the yep. sample. Get the sample come in. Cook up. You've got 24 minutes. I guess it's minutes. in the, the sample... Or the, the game mode sample channel, right? Game mode sample's about to be uploaded now. All right. Quickie, you get it. Quickie, you can start working. Well, that's cheating. Is the time already this? started? Is no, this no, no, yeah, no, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> Hands off the tools here. Come on, give me a break. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. 24 I minutes. Let me know when you guys are ready. Uh, I'm waiting. Jeez. It's a thick one, this one. A lot of ideas in there. A lot of ideas. It's a juicy base. Which channel? It's in the game mode dash samples. So when you join the Discord, you should be notified to. Ah, cheeky boy! Yeah, <laughs> hey, cheeky boy. Join <laughs> the Twitch. <laughs> Santana! Get in my hot. Favorite my favourite lady in London. Santana! What's goody? He accidentally made me open up After Effects. Welcome. Hope you've been Kidding. well. What are you thinking of you? 
Oh yeah. Got sliffy. We're doing good. We got projector in the hot seat tonight. He's gonna take on the sauna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then we just got Dre over here. Don't know what he's doing. Yeah, stressing. On the sidelines. It's just stressing. What's John up to, hey? Is he asleep or what? <laughs> he's he's cooking up a feast, I reckon. <laughs> uh you guys ready? Yeah, I'm in. I am. Ready? All right. We're ready. All Here right. Here we go. Official countdown. Uh, Don't forget, ready. everyone can jump in on this feed. Three, page. two, on one, go! Okay. We have started. Let me just try to isolate the cool part of it. I don't have anything turned on here. And you know who we're going to first. It's our guest, Projector. <laughs> Hard on this. There's a nice part. Okay. I can just drag that in here and see if we can get a key out of that. This is where I would need to have my perfect pitch, which I don't. <laughs> okay. So that's A. Goes up. Two, and now I'm playing. I guess it goes up one more then. There we are. Okay, so that's tuned. Um, should probably give it a little bit of attack because there's like a nasty click at the start. I can just EQ this a bit stronger here. And then, there we are. Okay. Let's move in here. I'm just going to start with a drop. I don't know if I have time to make an intro or anything like that. Nice little offbeat bass, I guess. Get myself a kick drum in here. Just gonna use one that I already have. Because of course I want to be as quick as possible to get to the interesting bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit to open the sample for a proper bass. Uh, there should be a filter in here. Like uh, the boys are going to bed early. Okay. Projector has. <laughs> He's already dialed in, man. He's dialed he? in. He's dialed in. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm going out on my shield. I don't care. <laughs> um. Let's see if we can do some resampling here. We can just crop this, and then we should just be able to drag it in and maybe get a cool wave table out of it. Does this work? Not really. Uh, the FFT version, maybe. We got uh, 20 minutes, 45 seconds. Let's see what Orsi's doing. Not much. Yeah, that seems to be some stuff happening. Tell us what's happening, Orsi. Mate, just give me the baseline. I just uh, uh, made this layout. And then with this select two play in sequencer. And then we got it on simpler and just cut off a little bit so I can bring the. I'm just going to side chain it. That's a little clean. I'd like to maybe do like a talking synth here. I might have to. I think I can't use that sound again. I think what I'm gonna do is use this in granulator. 
Okay. Is I don't even know if I want to do a sequence or just one shots. Could be cool to do one shots like so. Of course, add the right key. Minutes. Let's see what Dre is doing. No, I don't like this. That's the length right here. Okay. Then we go L4 here. I don't know if that's going to say. Yeah, perfect. Let's see it not. I'll yeah. just do maybe like eighth notes over here for like a backing sequence, maybe. I don't know. I think it's a bit too deep. Oh. We go here. <laughs> Two octaves low. It's not layered. Sounding very strange, I like it. Maybe let's include a bit more of the sample. That's the cool thing, you can it's just make it bigger if you need to. I think I want to change that. 17 minutes. I think especially if I wanted to, 120. Oh, didn't even realize. I mean, I'll try 148. Let's see if we set it very low. Yeah, quick. Ooh, I do like that sound, That's but... cool. I want another LFO on that for some filtering, I guess. Wait, I can just duplicate this. Because I want the same settings anyway. And then this goes to a band pass. I'll keep that. Just here, how do I feel the tempo? Let's go. Okay. Let's OTT this. Keep that out. 16 minutes. Let's see what the guest is doing. Okay. Um, I'm doing some very strange stuff here. Ooh. It'll be interesting trying to build this into an arrangement in like 10 minutes. I still don't like the nasty clicks that we're getting here. I don't know if I can smooth that out, but I think I shouldn't worry. I should worry about the actual music that I'm writing and not the details. Um, some drums. I'll go with this one. This one's neat. And then group that, minus 10. Then I'll go into the close that. It's 
cool to maybe just have this as a little accent here. And then we just want like a, I guess a clap could work here. Uh, regular. Something like that. Okay, uh, let's build this into somewhat of an arrangement. Oh, here the samples playing. Uh -huh. Might be cool to do something with this in the intro and then have this come in later. Should be able to just automate the pitch here down maybe. It's a little bit long. We can half the timing here to this. Sorry if I'm too focused and not explaining anything. <laughs> Dude, you're good. It's a hot game, mate. Uh, <laughs> doing very well, doing that. Doing very well. Thank you. This sound over here is a little bit, uh, I guess this becomes a one shot then. So this goes here. Uh, we'll distort it maybe a little bit. Um, isotope trash will do. Isn't the right thing? Yeah. Little reverb here. Let's now maybe just take the sample and do some warping on it. Should probably check the key before I do this. Ah, cheeky boy! <laughs> we are in G sharp. Okay, and then maybe like tones and then going up with the pitch over time. Could be cool. Just doink. That's very strong sounding there. Let's turn that down a bit. <laughs> Getting some crazy sounds out of that if we just move the filter. Uh, it could also be cool to do this, and then we have a high pass filter as well. <laughs> Let's glitch that up a bit. Oh, 
we'll just have this like turn on every once in a while here and maybe here. very strong there towards the end, that's not good probably. Okay, I think from here I want some more of a sequence. Can I see where time is? Eight minutes. Eight minutes 30. Okay. Let's see what Aussie's doing. Seven minutes, what's Dre doing? <laughs> that bloody song, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Joker. Uh, I need a riser and I'm stressing. Okay. That's working. Bit of stereo. That is just unnecessary, but let's do it. I don't know if I want that. I could probably check that on another layer real quick. Got to find an intro. Just got to. Might have one. Could it be cool to switch octaves here, going to... Six minutes. Like that. So crusty. Let me just... Okay. Let's add just add some on. quick stuff here. Where's my EQ? Bandpass here. Frequency shifter. And then a little riser thingy here, maybe. I have the wrong key, but I don't think it really matters for what we're doing here, because we're frequency shifting it anyway. Something like, something like secondary, just going crazy. Sort of like this. I 
don't like the crash too much, but it is what Trump it is. On top of that, maybe a chest. Um, four minutes thirty. Let's see what projector's doing. That's it. It'd be cool to do a key change here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then down here, I guess. Um, we'll do a little fill thing. And then I think the drop would continue, but I'm just going to focus on this part here because it's <laughs> already too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well, man. Thank you. It's just not what I want. Opening up Omnisphere is always a bad idea when it comes to timing. <laughs> Not a fan of the intro yet, but uh, hopefully with this pad it should be okay. <laughs> it's literally me too. Yeah. Two minutes left. Just some mixing stuff, I guess. Uh, I'll do the kick. this mono and then stereo again so that that click in the high frequencies is in the middle part I guess one minute to go okay let me quickly throw on the master thingy 40 seconds. Oh, this still doesn't open up properly. Uh, why is this list of plugins so big? <laughs> Where is it? Uh, 30 seconds. No stress. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Okay. I have four, three, two, one. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Hands up. Hands off the tools. Yo. Nice. Well done. How'd you go? I'm happy with what I did. 
Yeah. There's no effects in there. There's no kind of structure in there. But I mean, it's like 24 minutes. So what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> you, had to, it, you had some good sounds, though. I mean, you've got good sounds. Thank you. I'm happy with how the, the bass came out, at least. And that's the important bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so whoever made beats. Upload them. Let me just chuck them here. in the hashtag upload here on the Discord. I see Pinky's in there. Get in there. Well done, Pinky hair producer. Bubbles is in there. Um, upload here. Nice, thanks for joining. We still have one more round to go, so feel free to make another beat. <laughs> Bubble says he ended up using a plugin <laughs> he doesn't own, so I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage that? You just borrowing it. There's, I guess, like demo sounds in the middle of the track. Ah, right. Yep, yep, yep. True. Got projector. Not my best. There's somebody that made a two minute track. How do you manage? <laughs> Pinky, Pinky Air Producer, two minute track. Too much. Hey, how long was yours in the end, Project? Uh, 53 seconds. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Small good and concise, though. sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. Oh, I'm just uploading mine now. Yeah, same. Yeah, the old Aussie internet over here, it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've heard about that, yeah. <laughs> Pink hair is a I monster. used to edit for um I used to edit for a Australian YouTuber. Um and yeah. he now he said about his internet that he pays like a thousand a month for something that here in Italy I would pay maybe fifty. For. Really? Because he has like the the enterprise kind of thing that he needs to get yeah. at least decent upload speeds and download speeds. Yeah. No. Nice. But he talks about it all the time how it's a a very big issue. Dude, yeah. It's, it's crazy to think how like technology is like quite good here, but then with some things it's just like it is terrible, like internet especially. Yeah. We cop it. Like. I'm on a plan 100 down, 50 up. And that's one of the pricier ones for like $100 a month. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So I'm still on the, the, everything is still temporary in my apartment. So I'm still on the 4G thing, which is like terrible. Uh, but when I get into the new apartment, I'll have 200 up and 200 down. And I guess I can get a, a 20 bucks, something like that. <laughs> Well, and that's just the, the, the standard that they have. Don't that's actually crazy, man. I don't believe it. Oh, look who showed up. Look at me pause. <laughs> Leggy. Leggy <laughs> showed up. All right, let's play these beats. Is there any more? I think that's it. <laughs> All right, Leggy. Leggy's up first, guys. Come on, Leggy. Let's go, Leggy. See what you got, Leggy. X. Yeah, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh done, Leggy. Never let us down, mate. Well done. Okay, Paul Pax. <laughs> All right, next up. Oh, two, damn. Next up is Dre. Six these hats out. Yeah, that was actually a perfect whistle. Ah, cheeky boy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Yay, nice very try. nice. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, you ready, mate? Here yeah, it is. Sure. Here it is. I think it's time to arrange it. done nice Aussie nice we have our guest next definitely has some side trans vibes I guess mm -mm. Mm. Uh, top, 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 top. let's see what projectors got there we go Tight kick too, man. Well, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's just the preset, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes that's all you need. All right. Yeah. Next up, we've got bubbles. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
To say, mate. You're a little raver, Ooh. mate. You're a little raver. He's a little it's, raver. It's like the industrial part of techno meets the drum pattern of of uh, uh, <laughs> drum and bass. Yeah. <laughs> a little industrial. <laughs> it's just... All right. We got we got Pinky. We got Pinky next. Pinky ah, hot. cheeky boy. Yeah. So we got Pink. <laughs> Pinky dog. the song man oh, very cool really well done it's pretty much finished like they said it's pretty much finished get your votes in all right well we had so many beats that i had to cut it down to community uh dre orsi and projector so projectors can we, can we not no, four or more? no we can only yeah. put five in so i didn't want to leave everyone here hmm have to fix that strong round from everyone yeah, it's a juice juicer yeah uh, you vote through twitch too so you just twitch Give poll the yeah. community here we go here we bloody go Ooh, <laughs> projector gets hashtag Ordeo box. Ordeo box. I'm producing with Ordeo box. She. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Never heard of it. It's a. Uh, looks like a community for beat battles. We go 1v1. 1v1, nice. So out of those community votes, how many did you, who did you vote for? I feel like it's Pinky. I feel like <laughs> Pinky got. <laughs> I feel like Pinky got yeah. that vote. Beat Battle Platform. I mean, that's fair. He, he finished the track. He was the only one to finish, so. 
Nice. Very cool. Well, All right. Community gets the points. Wins. Beautiful. We'll see the scoreboard at the end. Off to round two. You ready? I am. Oh, yeah. Let's get in. All right, round two. What do we got? Community sample. Community sample. Producers turn submitted videos into songs. Viewers can send in videos from the following YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. It's an open challenge. Anyone can participate. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Community in the chat. Send us a sample. Go over to over to the. Uh... I'm trying to think if I know of any goods. Chuck it in. When did you just stop okay, listening? If you find one, send it in. Send it in. Bring them on in. What do we got? What do we got? Do me to send money in to kick it off, Jim. Yes, sure. For an example, send it in. Let's go. Instagram. Yeah, into the Insta. Oh, no, there's always fucking. Jeez, oh, hang on. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Oh, the language warning. Here we go. Dina, this is what we call popping. Ah, straight. You want to do hip hop? You got to stand like this. In a hip hop head, we have this. <laughs> Boom, bam. Every time. Uh, uh. Or uh, uh. Your hands are always ah. Like this. Start out just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Ah. Hip hop is this. One, two, three, four, hit. Ah. And ah. This is me. This is how I am. This is a lifestyle. This is it. Hit, hit, ah, ah. Peace. I'm out. No way. Yikes. What do you think of that projector? Is that a good... <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, this is my lifestyle. All right, Bubbles. Cool. What do you got? What do you got, Bubbles? I know there's always fucking... Oh, language warning. I know there's always fucking up my order, bro. I asked for Sprite and they gave me clown juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, saw don't, that ago. I don't I don't make those straws anymore. Very Your legit. paper straws now. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh Leggy. What do you got? Leggy. I came up with Arctic Beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> Many cigarettes you have to smoke before your voice starts to sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know how I can get two minutes back in my life. 
Hiya. <laughs> Beatboxing. All right, G-Rebs. Beatboxing's good. Come on, This dude. shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'm a dog. I'm biting the fart <laughs> bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiotes. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg, South Egyptian, Fur Burger Deluxe, Mega Million Scratcher, Skunk, Bubba Kush. We smoking Dung Beetle. I'm on 12 Vicodins, smoking on Scooby-Doo Dick. We smoking Sequoia Banshee Boogers. We snorting that good Buffalo Soldier Tamarin Jordanian Jibbies. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. That Burberry Backwoods Pack hitting that pussy smell like a Hellcat V8. We're smoking shit in a glass pipe, blowing the... Don't even need a vote. <laughs> don't even need a vote. Next time, Pinky's gone. Pinky's Download gone. it. Now. Pinky's one and then we'll do the poll. Uh, oh, my Texas or... Huh? Hey! Not available oh. in our country. Is there another way you can get that video? Ooh. CBS News, was it? CBS uh, News. <laughs> Shout Goddamn out. Goddamn Australians. That's bloody rude. Shout out CBS News. Um, that's it. I can get CBS News over here. <sighs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just you guys, I guess. Yeah, it's just, yeah. just the Aussies. <laughs> that's crazy. Next we have first. Um, what was, which one was first? Was like, I'll do the poll. Uh, so you got bubbles. You got leggy. The beatbox. You got G Rebs. Um, I don't know. What do you call this guy? Yeah, Dracula, <laughs> mate. And then yeah, that's it. What was Bubbles one again? Uh, the McDonald's drink. And there's one more. Wait, we got one more, guys. Yeah, the clan juice. That's what it was called. 12-year-old Caitlin Thornley started sneezing a month ago, and she hasn't been able to stop. Oh, no. Just listen to her. <laughs> The schoolgirl who lives outside Houston sneezes 12,000 times a day. Sometimes the seventh grader can't complete a sentence. Oh. Some kid ends up making fun of me or something like that, and it just gets. <laughs> the only time the sneezing the seems to slow down is when stop. Caitlin listens to music, <laughs> specifically the Beatles. <laughs> Even in my dreams, I sleep. I, I sneeze. For now, it's a medical mystery. Doctors have nah, ruled out fine. allergies for a virus. Perfectly. Until they figure it out, Caitlin can't go to school. We've seen this phenomenon before. Remember this teenager who couldn't stop sneezing? Even at her prom, some kids laughed at her. <laughs> This teenager also suffered from serial sneezing. This is Lauren Johnson today. Turns out she had a rare tick similar to obsessive compulsive behavior that apparently started with a strep throat infection. Lauren has this advice for Caitlin. Um, I tell her just to keep going. Don't let people get her down. I don't care what they do. I just wanted to stop. It's been going on for way too <laughs> All right, sneezer. Here's the last one. Oh, wait, no. There's one more. <laughs> so she no, comes I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, play it for a second. Play it for a second, though. Play it for a second. Polls up. Which one we got? 12-year-old Caitlin Thornley started sneezing a month ago, and she hasn't been able to stop. Just... I mean, boys at the uh, recycler on rust, and then, <laughs> and then someone come around the corner and we started shooting. Keep it snoozy. The sneeze sequencer, G Rebs with the Count Dracula rap, <laughs> Leggy with the Arctic box, <laughs> Bubbles on. with the clown, clown join. Oh, who's clown right, join? But <laughs> clown <laughs> noise. It's meant to be noise, but I wrote join. Where's the. <laughs> the, the... Oh, man.
dude. And then you got the hip hop vid. He rams against the <laughs> The Count Dracula looks like it's taking the pole. What is um? What's projector like? Which um, where's the must have amnesia one? Who knows? Well, yeah, which one's your favorite projector? You still need for- um the 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 guy that was screaming a whole bunch of nonsense. I think that I can get some good stuff out of that. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> the one that's winning that right is, now. Yeah, yeah. It is. well, Jimbo, mate, get it cooking, mate, because it's uh, Count Dracula time. Damn! <laughs> Click play. Oh, you know what I need. You know what I say about that. Listen to her. <laughs> Listen to her. <laughs> All right. Anyways, sorry guys. It sounds like a silenced M24 in PUBG. <laughs> All right, the old Count Dracula. Oh shit! What I just put up in? Seriously, easy. <laughs> Someone get pinned. All right, I'm downloading this sample. What's the strategy going into this one, fellas? <laughs> oh, is there a strategy or are you just going to... I have no strategy. Yeah. <laughs> no strategy. How much time do we get for this? Oh, I always forget, don't I? I was going to say, do we even have a time? No time limit. Unlimited. How much time will the boys get and everyone else? <laughs> 30 minutes. Ooh. Nice. Yes. We got to 30? We got the Shoo. 30. All right. <laughs> As he's happy. Uh, let me know when the sample's up. Yep. <laughs> Any more? G Reb says, Oof, can make an album in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your name's not Kendrick, mate. Yeah. All right, sample is up. Okay. Don't forget, this uh, challenge is open. You can jump in, cook some beats, just jump in the diff good. Let me know when you're all ready. 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 Let's go. Get ready. Let's go. <laughs> Leggy says, can't Dracula. Oy. Get in there, Leggy. Get in there. Let's go fast for now. Let's go straight to projector. Just going to make quick kick and base here. See you tomorrow. See what we got here. Nice. Very loud. That's not good. I think some high tech is in order with this sample here. <laughs> <laughs> Just all of the drugs that he's naming off, it's probably a good thing to include some faster music here. Oh, this shit ain't... <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me, man. That's probably a cool sample for, like, a fill thingy.
This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Me, man. Me, man. This shit ain't nothing to me. Okay, let's get our drums in here. That's the sample that I used before. So let's use a different one here. Go with a nice long closed hat here. Twenty seven minutes. Bubbles in the bath. Ah, that's why. <laughs> Let's turn that off for now. Um <laughs> get a snare. <laughs> We just saturate this and then we can do some cool stuff with this folk over here. Can maybe just uh, slice. Sixty slices. That's nice. Ah, it's just the beat. Okay. Um, let's see if we can make some cool sequence out of that. Uh, what do we got? 25 minutes. Let's see what Aussie's doing. That's obviously not what we want. We want this to go arpeggiator. Okay, cool, bits longer. Okay, let's get some spectral resonator, I guess, on there. Put it in the key. I'm gonna record out a two bar sequence of that. I'm biting the fart bubbles and the bite. Turn that off. I think it would be cool to use just the med the same thing over and over again. So no arpeggiator, just this. Mega Mog. Mog. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiotes. 
smoking that Berg South Egyptian Fur Burger Deluxe Mega Million Scratcher Skunk Bubba Kush. We smoking dung beetle. I'm biting the oh, fart Mrs. bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiotes. I'm on 12 Vicodins smoke boy of him. <laughs> That Burberry backwoods pack. 23 minutes. Let's see how Dre's going. Like a Hellcat V. Just testing a couple of things. Ultra Cameron, Jordanian, Jimmy. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. Ultra Cameron, Jordanian, Jimmy. They must have amnesia. Uh, I have my spike already. So, really? What are we seeing? Yeah, that is it. Uh, do I have time to set up a You want to hear it, Jim? And... Ready? Yep. Midi thing? So it starts I off with this. I'm thinking to start off with this. I'm a dog. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> South Egyptian Fur Burger <laughs> Deluxe Mega Million Scratcher. All the lyrics of it. Mega Million Scratcher Skunk Bubba Kush. We smoking Dung Beetle. I'm on 12 Vicodins smoking on Scooby Doo Dick. <laughs> So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking on that word, you know what I mean? I just gotta figure it here. Yeah. I'm on 12 Vicodins smoking on Scooby Doo Dick. Okay. I like that. Maybe like, um, mm. and smoking on Scooby Doo Dick. Okay, but, but it's like, hmm. lots of options. Yeah. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Okay, let's get. Maybe I should just. This is loud. Twenty-one minutes. I'm a dog. See what projectors do. I'm a dog. I want maybe some one shots and some synths in here. That's cool. Just trying to go fast here. Maybe a little bit of a filter on this one. Band pass, I think. <laughs> nice. I guess you can have this come in over here. This shit ain't nothing to me. I think I can just have that in the intro as well here. Shit 
double kicks. Here. Okay, uh, it's not glitchy enough yet. Cool. I guess here we can do like a little flowy bass melody. Just keeping it simple here. This part we remove the Finalize it with a little bit of this still. Maybe some cool granular stuff. <laughs> we smoking Sequoia Banshee boogers. We smoking Sequoia Banshee boogers. We I don't have the Discord on anymore. In the stream. To see the time. Uh, so 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Okay. Yes. Fur burger smoking. We, we smoking sequoia. We Okay. Let's just go. We we. We, we smoke against Sequoia Banshee Boogers. Maybe some pitch. We, we smoke Banshee Boogers. We, we, we smoke Sequoia Banshee Boogers. Right, let's see what Aussie's doing. Thirty minutes, thirty to go. Smoking dung beetle. We're sick in the head. We're sick in the head. I'm on them Broward County tick tacks. Welcome, James. You can use the thingy here, the TikTok sound as well. Howard County Tic Tac. We're sick in the head.
synth on it or something. Five. Let's see how Dre's going. That pussy smell. They forgot that I'm him. Like a Hellcat V8. We're smoking shit in a glass pipe blowing the Lord's bubbles. I'm sick in the head. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Like a Hellcat. 20. Let's see what Project is doing. That pussy. Gets a lot louder there. That's not good. Does this have no makeup game? Okay. Automatic. I guess it just does not have makeup game. Interesting. Okay. A little bit of utility, just to turn it down when that phaser thing happens. Oh, and here. Flanging, maybe nice.
Seven minutes. Okay. Uh, let's do another atmosphere thingy. I can just do it like this, I guess. And then band pass after that. Six minutes. That will be our outro here. And now I want more stuff. Um, I have the particles in here. Just some bleeps here, that one. Cool. Five minutes to go, let's see what Aussie's doing. Thing. A bit of uh, programming. So I'm just trying to get these, these sounds right. <laughs> Let's see how Dre's going. God, that I'm him. Intent, if that's, I think it's necessary. They must Dance have good. amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. Maybe. They must have. Maybe I'll just put. What do you laugh at, kid? Dick. Smoking on Scooby Doo dick. <laughs> Smoking on. Dude, maybe a heart. I'm a dog. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg South Egyptian. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. 
I'm on 12 Vicodin smoking on Scooby-Doo dick. <laughs> That pussy smell. They must have amnesia. They forgot uh, one that minute, I'm him. One minute forty. Let's see what projector's doing. Oh, I like to oh, hear I'm it. Just crazy sounds. <laughs> I guess that's a nice sound to end on here. Cool. 50 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Game over, yeah! Time's up. Hands off the tools. Played. That is all. All I got. All you got. How did everyone go? It sounded good. For 30 minutes, I'm pretty happy. Nice. Nice, nice. Got bubbles, we got leggy. Jeez. Leggy's up early. Any time, man. He's just like, yep, pick one, whip it out. <laughs> Damn, man. It's a fun round. Oh, yeah. How'd you go, Project? Just upload it. Just needs to nice. actually upload it. Uh, but I'm all good. How was that one? Uh, I think this one went a little bit better. I may have messed it up with the mastering, uh, but the rest yeah. of it is uh, okay. I'm happy with what I did. The idea was good though. You were happy with how quick or the, the idea that you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the, the vocal really, really screamed high tech to me, you know, like very fast, very ravey music. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah, what I went yeah. with. And I think I got some cool ideas in here. Yeah, cool. Got projector. Yeah, I just threw mine up there. Jeez, there's a couple before it. Oh no, is Liggy the first one or is uh, Bubbles. Bubbles the first? Yeah. What a fun round. Yeah, it's good when you get a vocals like that. It's easy to kind of just find an idea. Bloody oath. Uh... Uh... I guess for me the the oh, musical well. idea of the last one was more interesting because I could actually make the bass and stuff out of it. Mm. Uh, but this one was more of it. It just gives you an idea for the actual vibe of the track, mm. which with yep. the last one I didn't really have. Is yep. that 
how you normally work? Like you like to pull sounds uh, out as opposed so to So normally when I'm working, it's uh, mainly when I'm working, I start off with creating the idea, but the vocals and that kind of stuff that usually comes in later. Because mm -hmm. at the beginning of a project, I just want to get the kick and bass down and I want to kind of have like a template that I can work on. And yeah. only at that point am I actually going to look for, okay, what is the, the, the theme of the track basically? Mm -hmm. And from there yeah. you find the sounds, you find the vocals and everything. Yep. What's up, kid? We got Dre's. I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Is there anyone, anyone else? Else. Get going, and if they drop it in, we'll have a listen. Yep, no worries. Dre's up first. We going now? We going now. Let's do it. See you, Dre's. I'm a dog, smoking that Whoopi Goldberg South Egyptian. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. I'm on 12 Vicodins, smoking on Scooby-Doo dick. And that pussy smell. They must have amnesia, they forgot that I'm him. That burberry backwoods pack hitting that pussy smell like a Hellcat V8. We smoking shit, 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 shit. and a glass pipe blowing the Lord. I'm sick in the head. That pussy smell. I'm sick in the head. That pussy smell. What a vibe. good. I think it gets the message across. <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. Yeah. That smell, eh? Uh, let's see what else he's got. Smoking dung beetle. I'm sick in the head. I'm sick in the head. I'm on them Broward County Tic Tac. I'm sick in the head. That's a good Smoking dung beetle. I'm sick in the head. I'm sick in the head. Next up is our guest, 
projector. See what it is. This is gonna be interesting. They must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. go out <laughs> hard and then very smooth thank you I like it <laughs> all right next up we got leggy <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me man i'm a dog <laughs> Interesting, that one. Very clean. naughty. Very interesting. Very mm -hmm. naughty, leggy. Naughty. And last yeah. up is bubbles. Let's uh, enjoy. Bubbles, 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 Thanks, bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubbles,
that's something I probably neglect um, pretty heavily. I, I, I never really set any presets, so I'm never always kind of coming back to the same thing, which I mean is good or bad. I'll have presets for kicks and stuff. But yeah, it's it's something I've started to want to put um, put into practice a bit more of having like things like you've got to to just make that workflow so much easier. Well, it was a draw. Oh, was it a draw? Everybody got the points. <laughs> Everybody is a winner. Ev except Bubbles. Everybody wins. Except Bubbles. Bubbles, except you, bubbles yes. you won, Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Well, Projector, you've done it. You've tackled the sauna. Was a lot of fun. It's cool to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, man, we appreciate you coming on and, you know, just hanging out. I think it's just, it makes this experience, I mean, starting it out and doing it all, the, all that much worth it. So. Exactly, yeah. So we're going to shift into the last uh, 10, 15 minutes of the show where we uh, run through uh, some questions and get to know him. A little bit more. Okay. Personally. So, yeah, I guess starting back on, like, you coming from, obviously, a Dutch background and moving to Italy, like, was it, what was the reason mm -hmm. for kind of that move? Uh, I was 16 at the time, and my parents, uh, at least my, my father, he was really tired of his job, and uh, they both kind of wanted to leave the Netherlands and leave the the very quick i guess society of the netherlands a little bit because everything yeah. in the netherlands has to be punctual it has to happen now 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 and my parents mm. got a, were a little bit annoyed about that uh my dad was also a banker so they just had like a big financial crisis and he was saying like on the the job there's much more control there's much more bureaucracy that kind of stuff yeah. um so everything kind of culminated into just from there just trying something completely new so my parents actually brought uh, an Agri Turismo, which is kind of like a hotel slash farmhouse kind of thing. You yeah. have to be both farm, you have to do both the farming side as well as the, the hosting guest side. And that's what they've been doing ever since. Yeah, right. So how, how did, when did music come into that? Um... I guess I've always been listening to electronic music. Um, before I also used to listen to, to metal and uh, hard rock. Um, of course, with a, a father who is uh, a certain age, he has a bunch of bands that he used to listen to uh, that he still puts on on the radio. Um, but all of that kind of culminated in just one, me, uh, one day me kind of uh, going home and just looking up like, can I make music? And then from there I found FL Studio and from there uh, a few years later I found Ableton and, and ever since then it's just been continuing. It, it's never really stopped. It's in the hobby that I guess I just stumbled into and then mm. from there never got out from again. Yeah. And you said you studied. How lo like How long was the course that you did? Well, I dropped out. Uh, <laughs> it was a master degree in music engineering. I did a bachelor's degree in computer science. Uh, mm -hmm. And I really kind of wanted to either continue studying because I really didn't want to commit to like a normal job. That was yeah. my main concern. So I was like, I'm going to continue studying and then I'm going to study something that I can actually use in the things that I like to do in my hobby and see if yeah. I can after that find a job in the music industry somewhere. Uh, but while I was doing that, uh, I already had this YouTube channel and the YouTube channel kind of took over while I was here studying. And after half a year, I was like, I'm not really learning the things that I want to learn for the stuff that I actually want to be doing. Uh, and the thing that I want to be doing is sewing, is going so well that I might as well just pull all of my time in there. And to be honest, I haven't looked back since. Yeah, was that a tough decision going from, uh, you know, obviously studying and being in that space, but then also knowing that your YouTube's taking off? Um, it's, it was a very long decision, right? You, it's not that this kind of decision where you say like, okay, now I'm just going to go full time. And then the next day you call up university and say, okay, I'm dropping out by guys. 
Uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. I, I, I went back to my parents, of course. I, I talked to them about it, got their yeah. opinion. They were very much against it. But uh, now at this point, they have seen that there is at least money in this and there is a, at least a future in this and it's still continuing to grow. Um, and more people, you know, keep subscribing and keep watching the videos. So it, it, it's still growing. And that gives them the confidence that at some point, uh, instead of just getting by with music, I can actually make some good money with it and, you know, uh, maybe buy a house at some point and stuff like that. Man, that's wicked. And that's why I kind of reached out to you in the beginning. You know, your music was very different, but also just building that following and, you know, having that YouTube as with all the tutorials and stuff. Like, talk us through how you kind of started out doing those, talk, like, the tutorials. Um, well, the tutorials started with the pandemic, uh, obviously not having a lot to do. Uh, I was living in Budapest at the time. I was on a exchange program called Erasmus. Uh, where when you're in university, they send you to uh, a different university and then one from the university comes back. So I was living in Budapest for a year. Uh, and then um, the, the second half of that year was all of the lockdowns and the start of COVID, basically. Um, so right as that started, I was like, I, I have all of this free time. I know a lot about music production. I've tried doing tutorials in the past, but it didn't really work. I, I, just by chance, I had like a camcorder with me. So I used that to, to set up the camera. And then from there, having posted the first tutorial on like Reddit, I got, you know, the, the, the first few comments that you get, the first few likes that you get. And then from there, it starts rolling. Then you get new ideas. Then once you have done the first one, it's, it becomes easier to, to do the next one, essentially. Yeah. And, and like starting out with that though, like obviously you had a lot of music background. Was it just a confidence thing of like, I believe what I'm putting out there, you know, people might be interested. And I guess, how would you tackle that if people were struggling or wanted to do well, that? Yeah, what I, advice would you give I, them? Well, at the end of the day, I started out with one tutorial. And that was just a cool idea that I had with some multiband compressor kind of thing. And I posted it to Reddit and I got a, a response to that. Uh, like, this is really cool. This is something that I'm going to use. Just maybe one or two people uh said it and i might i may got like 50 views on the video at the time now it's higher of course because it's been up for a while uh, but you can just use that uh initial boost to give you the confidence because it will then come and it's not like you have to have 20 different ideas for 20 different videos uh if you just find your own pace and you find your own kind of speed at which you can produce the videos and continuously do that as long as you stay like semi-consistent in it, say that it takes you a day to record a video, another day to edit it at first, uh, it, and, and another day to upload it. If you just do that, then every three days, at a certain point, your following will know like, oh, it's time for almost for a new video from, from this guy. Let's go and watch him. Let's see if he has posted it on the channel. Uh, also, the, if you post it always at the same time, you're going to basically create that following that will every once in a while know like oh it's time for a new projector video it should be out by now let me go check the channel and see yeah that's something that got me interested with you too is you know your youtube community and your discord community was that hard building that out in the in the beginning um to be honest i don't really remember the beginning i the only thing that I remember is that it went faster than uh, I initially thought. Like, I thought that it, it would never really get off the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the, the, the first COVID period, when I went back to Italy, I guess, um, that is when I already had, I guess, 500, 600 subscribers, which those are the subscribers that are the hardest to get. Once you have that community once you have those few people at least that you maybe regularly talk to that that give you comments that give you ideas at that point it you don't really start to notice the the growth over a long period of time it's just that sometimes you notice hey like oh today i had a particularly bad day or or this day i had a particularly good day or or this week is a little bit down but just looking back over four years you can just see that it's it's the slow steady growth that will happen over like any project that you start, anything that you start, even if it's a normal career, 
if you look over a time span of a couple of years, you'll see that it, it will always grow. And the same is true for YouTube. How do you avoid things like burnout? And obviously with cutting videos and editing videos, how do you f avoid things like burnout and managing a balance of still making music and stuff you're happy with? Um... I don't, to be honest. I, I it's <laughs> not like I'm really. <laughs> I, I just I just feel like I need to do the work that I need to do to maintain the things that I have now. Uh, and the main driving factor is the thing that I have built up now is precious to me. I want to keep this. I want to to grow this. So for that reason, I need to put in a certain amount of work. And at some point, there are some days, of course, where uh, it's not really burnout, but it's just like one day where I'm completely lacking energy and, and I don't want to do anything. And those are the days that I really just take off. When I wake up, I notice like, oh, today is not going to be the day that I'm going to get a lot done. And then I'm just like, okay, I'm not doing anything anymore. It's nothing is happening today. And then we'll see again tomorrow. But it's mm. it's not like I'm doing a lot of things to try to... Do uh like i guess prevent the burnout it just sometimes kind of one day comes over me and then at that point i say like if i don't work today then tomorrow i can be productive again yeah well i mean that's a, i think with anything in, in work you need to have that that skill of just knowing when to take a step back for whether it be a day or two so then you can kind of manage your content and we do it for sure with this episode with this show because there's so much content to cut up and cover sometimes you just go, oh man, I just need a day and I just don't feel like doing that and just stepping away and being like, uh, I'm good. Good. I'm good. But I want to, I want to touch yeah. on something that you wrote on your website. And I think this is really important. And you, you, you wrote, you know, music production knowledge should be shared. And that's something we love here because we want to encourage other producers to be better and, I just wanted to understand how you got to that sort of uh, mindset with this project um, or alias um, and how that be kind of became the idea with it. Um, well, that idea, again, was really just born in the early days of COVID when I guess a lot of people also were locked in at home. And I just noticed that the response to what I was doing with those first few tutorials was so positive that it 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 just seemed like the right thing to do where uh, i have all of this information all of these things that i know and they may not all be correct there may be room for discussion that kind of thing but at least by just putting the information out there you get people interested in it and then you get people to actually engage with your content and maybe learn something from it yeah that's cool man so how, how did you get to Psytrance? Um, I guess through uh, Goa Minimale, which is a subcategory of Psytrance, where it, it's a very minimal, uh, more club kind of vibe. Because uh, Psytrance is really like festival music. There's the, the, if, if you really dive into it, there's times of days where you are supposed to play specific subgenres and all of that kind of stuff. But it's, it's really meant for the festival. Um, and inside of the club, here in Italy at least, they have the Goa Minimale, which is kind of a similar thing to Psytrance, but as I said, more minimal. Um, so I learned that and then through there... Uh, that was also around the time where Arin van Buren uh, with Fiji Vini uh, became really big with The Great Spirit, I believe, is, is the track. That, that one went yeah. like, very big. Um, so I heard that, of course. And then through there, I uh, listened to Asterix, which I would say is the first real Psytrance that I listened to. And then from there, you start learning new artists, you start learning new things. And the cool thing what, that I found about Psytrance is that it's the, the right combination about, between technical music making and a lot of feeling in there. Because before that, yeah. I was producing dubstep, uh, which is also a very technical genre, but it was missing a lot of the, I guess, the emotion for me. Because it's just meant to be like loud and aggressive, which wasn't really the vibe that I was trying to go for. Yeah, I mean, like, for me, listening to Psytrance, I have friends that delve into it, but for me, it's it's never really been anything 
of personal interests and it's here to not it's nice to hear you say that there is like that emotional aspect to it because when i think the first thing that comes to mind when i think of psytrance is super fast and super like um you know just quite intense music whereas it's refreshing mm -hmm. to hear you go oh you know there is an emotional side like when i looked into it more there was more progressive techno and more tribal elements to obviously psy and there's a lot more genres that come with that like you said before high tech with um that other song you did how do you manage mm -hmm. obviously like uh ear fatigue and fatigue in general when you're listening or producing music that is quite fast like that um well when it comes to my productions mine are uh not that fast like i did a high-tech yeah. track now but that's just something that i like to do sometimes also yeah. because it helps with uh understanding stuff for tutorials because there is differences between the different subgenres and and the way that the, the technical things work and if i want to make a tutorial if i get like a request for do you want to make this kind of style or that kind of style i need to know what i'm doing mm -hmm. um but the uh, the, the ear fatigue, the um, what I'm doing when it comes to production is I have maybe like 10 projects that I'm working on at any single time. Uh, and my projects, they take a long time to make. I would say that minimum, it takes me like 50, 60 hours of production uh, plus 10 hours of mixing and mastering, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I divide it up over maybe even a, a year, year and a half of time for each individual project. So I have multiple projects that I'm currently, that I'm always working on. And I can always kind of switch from, not just from one stage of production to the other. Like if I feel like, oh, today I feel like mastering, I will do a master. If I feel like starting a new project, I can start a new project. If I feel like I want to work on a project that is already almost there, I can work on some detail stuff. Um, but also each song is going to have a little bit of a different vibe to it. So you're not ever, um, I guess, stuck in a vibe for hours and hours i much rather when i do a production session where i really say like okay today i'm just going to work on music i'd much rather work on four different songs and then switch song every one and a half maybe two hours as opposed to just sitting there eight nine hours working on the same song and indeed getting that fatigue where everything starts to sound better than it actually is yeah, is there any ad advice you would give to those starting out in regards to mixing and mastering? Like some things to really consider right at the start that you maybe you wish you had when you started out? Um, the main thing that I'm doing nowadays that I really wasn't doing for the first 10 years of my production is I export each individual sound and then I mix in Reaper. So that's a different DAW. Um, and what that does for me is it gives you a different mindset in the sense that a new DAW, you kind of associate that with a different way of thinking because mixing isn't really, uh, people like to say like it's still creative, but you have to just analyze stuff and you have to just properly listen to stuff and things have to fit together, which is more of a technical kind of thing than it is a creative thing. Um, the other thing that it does for me is it allow it makes it so that I never can really go back into the production because once I have loaded up the track in Reaper, uh, going back into the Ableton project, re-rendering everything, making a lot of changes is not really a lot of fun. So there's like the automatic way of discouraging yourself of um, going back and changing production things, which a lot of people tend to do. So I just have audio files that uh, are an idea and I just have to make the ideas work together. Sometimes that means that one or two of the ideas in the track, like if I have 200 tracks in a project, one or two of the tracks need maybe a fix, or sometimes I even delete one or two of the tracks if the sound just really doesn't work in the track. But most of the time it's, it's just a battle of trying to get all of the ideas that you previously had to actually fit well together. And like, what's something you're like thinking about when you are trying to bring those ideas together? Are you normally working more with an EQ? to get that mix uh, in tighter or using, you know, returns, sends to help glue that mix together? Um, it's the, the approach that I go for is really just trying to identify the problem and then immediately the solution. And that can be an EQ, that can be a return track, that can be an, an extra track. 
Um, when it comes to my mixing sessions, I usually start off with just listening to the track once. And just, I have a little notebook over here that I just write things down in. This kind of thing. Uh, and that is an, a great way to get an initial idea of all of the little things that you want to change about it. Because usually when it comes to the mix, I start off with the just adding all of the elements to the mix and kind of um, getting a decent idea of the balance. It it won't be the, 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 the final balance between all of the elements, but it's, it will at least be close. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you start to hone in on the details. And that is actually where you get your improvements in the mix. Um, is that you try to get like a, a very specific sound to sit in a very specific part of the track and you just constantly listen, you take notes, and then you immediately go into it and, and either EQ it, whatever it needs. If it needs some dynamics, there's going to be like a compressor or maybe it needs some distortion, that kind of stuff. What, it's not really that I'm, I have like a fixed workflow where people say like, okay, every track needs an EQ, then every track needs a compressor. Some people like to work that way, but for me, that's not really the. At least that isn't the approach that works for me. Yeah, I'm, I mean it's interesting listening to your approach because it's refreshing. Like, it sounds like not every track has a set way, and I think you're right, man. When you approach another track, and you like you say, identify the problems. Everyone is different. As soon as you open up that project, mm -hmm. it's it's so different. So it's refreshing to hear that mindset. Stepping outside of production a little bit, we're going to talk about Eclipse Sound Syndicate because that's your label, mm -hmm. you're in, your music label that you're involved with. How did you start that with whoever you're kind of creating that? Uh, so we're five people. Uh, me, Subject Ultra, Mind B, Mortech, and Lunarium. And the idea really started with a collaboration between me and Subject Ultra that had to be released. And um, we didn't really know, is this the, the, like, was this the right kind of music to approach a label with already? Uh, was this interesting enough to maybe see if we can, you know, get a professional DJ to play it at a festival or something like that? Uh, so we came up with a few approaches of how we could release the track. And amongst that was, uh, instead of approaching a label, why don't we start like a small thing, a small label, let that grow for maybe a year or two, and then we have the methods of, you know, approaching uh, the next step in your career. Um, so the idea was born between us two, and then we the, it, it kind of grew from there. We included the, the other three guys in there, because uh, we all thought that they made great music. And uh, now we're just kind of trying to build it up, trying to at least get the framework in place so that we can consistently release music. Uh, and then we, at some point, are going to approach other artists and see if we can help them as well. That's cool, man. Are you guys doing stuff like running events or putting on, like, your own parties where, you know, maybe yourself DJ or your friends DJ the music? Or is it mainly you just want to be viewed as, a, like, a label? And Right now, it's not yet like that uh, in the sense that we don't really organize anything. Uh, one yeah. of the issues that we have is that one guy is from Germany, one guy is from Switzerland, one guy is from France, and uh, I am in Italy. So we're not really like living together. We are not. We, we cannot go over and all play at the same place at the, the same yeah. club. That would just be right for the amount of people that we would bring. We would spend more on traveling expenses than we would actually make from. An, organizing an evening like that or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for now, we're just focusing on purely, I guess, the, the online growth of it. And then we're hoping that at some point it, it grows to a, a point where we can approach maybe a, a, a booking agency and we can say, like, these are the numbers that we're doing online. I think a lot of people will be interested to see us play somewhere here or somewhere there. And then maybe through an agency or even a, a bigger label. From that point, you can start to approach people. Yeah. What was the mindset behind build like that approach? Like, was it you just wanted to build that so then you could get approached from other A and Rs? Um. Well, looking at it now, for me, it's uh, really a project that I want to just do long term because I think. Mm. At the end of the day, one of the things that we can do with it is, as I said, uh, give more opportunities to other artists as well. People that are currently not the five of us, I guess. 
Um, and we want to see if we can grow it that way, just by being kind of like an artist-run label and just trying to do the best for the artist. Um, a lot of labels, even in the sidetrend scene, are a little bit in it just to make some money, which, of course, if you're a business, that is part of it. Uh, but we're not really a business in that we don't really make an income yet. It's it's still all growing. Uh, so I hope that we can keep that kind of mindset where it's it's the artist first and the, the music first. Um, and then from there, we'll see if that's actually a viable strategy or not. Incredible, man. Yeah. You're an incredible man. And, you know, thank you for taking your time <laughs> out with us He's tonight. Wild, Ian. It just you can see how you present yourself like from the time we've known you you just come across very professional super friendly and just a lot of mm. fun to to be around man and um the fact you're being able Thank to you. share all this wisdom with people and hopefully they can find little gems in this conversation and uh yeah <laughs> apply it in their own life so we've got a little surprise for you it's at every at the end of every sauna <laughs> well this is a tradition we have now you can see this screen. Everyone. I can see a scoreboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Time to roll it out, Jimbo. <laughs> hey! Ah! Up on the, up on the board. <laughs> there is nice. back over. Let's go. This is uh, episode 213. This is Projector. Go check out his uh, Patreon, his SoundCloud, his Bandcamp. Go support him. Uh, go support Clip Sound Syndicate too. Check it out. He's uh, also got a new uh, release on the way, I believe. Mm -hmm. The track that was playing throughout. Uh, this yeah, the... should be up in roughly a month. Yeah. It takes a long time of... with the distributor, but... It should be coming soon. Yeah, the game of life is uh, <laughs> the track that we're playing at the start of the song, at the start of the episode, and at the end. Um, and yeah, we're gonna close the episode out. Thanks again for coming on and yeah, taking yeah. time out of your day to, Thanks again to for join having us. Me. And it's all good, man. Until next time. Thank you. <laughs>